Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up for an NTRIP service, explain the differences between the types of mount points available, and finally creating your NTRIP profile in MLID Flow 360 for use with your reach receiver. Follow the link in the description to see our blog post with the links to your state's available networks. There are a few different types of NTRIP networks. Two of the most common are pivot networks and spider net networks. For example, Ohio's Department of Transportation operates a pivot network. Signing up for their RTK service is as simple as navigating to their account creation form, filling it out, and waiting for it to process and receive your NTRIP credentials in your email. An example of a SpiderNet network would be New York State Network. Getting up and running is slightly more involved. First navigate to the New York State Net login and create an account. You'll notice you set a username and password as well as a separate NTRIP username and password. The NTRIP username and password are what you will input into your MLID Flow NTRIP profile, while the other username and password you will need to log in to the New York SpiderNet website. Once you receive a confirmation email from your SpiderNet account, you'll need to log in to your state's website. Once logged in, you will need to shop for the real-time network corrections and subscribe. New York's RTN service is free, and so are several other states, but some may charge a fee for that subscription. If your yearly subscription has lapsed, as you can see here, you'll need to navigate to your subscriptions tab to renew it. You can also access your user profile to check or change your NTRIP username and password. You can also check your mount point compatibility in the RTN ports slash mount points tab. MLID receivers need corrections in RTCM3 format, so the mount points with the Trimble CMR format won't work. Not all mount points work the same and not all NTRIP networks have every type of mount point, so let's take a look at a few of the major types of mount points. We'll start with the simplest type of mount point, which should be a single baseline. Mount points with naming conventions like near MSM will select the nearest continuous operating reference station, or cores, to your rover location and pass corrections from that station to your rover through the network. Some intra providers will have a more advanced virtual reference station mount point option. This type of mount point uses position data from several core stations to create a virtual station on your worksite that will be the basis of your corrections. And the last two types I will talk about use the master auxiliary concept. IMAX, or individual master auxiliary corrections, works very similarly to VRS. When using this mount point, the entry provider usually picks the core station nearest to your rover as the master station, which will send corrections to the provider's processing center with the addition of other auxiliary cores position data and compute improved correctional data for your rover tied to the master station. Finally, we have Max, which uses the same concept of using a master cores for corrections, but instead of the improved corrections using the differences from auxiliary cores data being processed by the network, all of the data is sent to the rover and the corrections are processed by the rover. Once you have your NTRIP credentials, you can create an NTRIP profile in MLID Flow or MLID Flow 360. Simply fill in your NTRIP credentials and select an appropriate mount point from the list. You can now select that profile whenever using NTRIP corrections. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.